Hello students. Today we're going to work on a rough draft for a letter. Now, since it's a rough draft, I'm just going to use a piece of paper like this. It's got this fringe on here. It doesn't need to look beautiful because this is not the letter that we're going to send. This is the practice letter. Uh, we're going to write our rough draft this week and then next week we're going to revise it and hopefully get it ready to mail out. So now sometimes the most challenging part about writing a letter is thinking about who you're going to write it to. So think about who you know. You're going to have to make sure you have that person's address if you're going to send the letter. But think about who you'd like to write a letter to. And as soon as you figure that out, we'll get started. I am going to write my rough draft of my letter. I've decided to write my letter to my sister. She lives pretty far away from me. Actually, she lives on the opposite side of the country as me, so I don't get to see her that much. So I'm going to write her a letter. I'm going to start with the opening. Opening is always going to include the word dear and then the person's name. My sister's name is Julie, so dear Julie. And then I'm going to put a comma. That's the only thing that's going to go on this first line. Notice I wrote on this first line not the big margin space at the top, but the first line. And the only thing I'm going to write is Dear Julie. Put that comma, and everything else is going to happen underneath there. How are you doing? And just start with a real simple question. Do you still have lots of snow at your house? The last time I talked to her, she had snow there, so let's ask her. Are the kids enjoying school at home. Her kids are at home too, uh, doing their school at home. I wonder how they're doing with it. Then let me tell a little bit about how I'm doing. My students are at home and I think they are doing a great job. I know they miss their friends, but they are working so hard. So, kind of told a little bit about this. I'm going to start a new paragraph because I want to talk about something new. Do you guys have any plans for summer? I would love to go on another vacation together. I know that Sophia misses her cousins a bunch. 
we should think about some place we could all go. And I'm going to leave it here. I know I haven't told her a ton, but I feel like I've got a good start on this letter. So I'm just going to go to my closing. My closing should be kind of by itself. Um, usually we either use the word sincerely or we use the word love. And it's just about who you're writing your letter to. If it's a person that you would say, I love you, like your mom or your grandma or your cousin, then you can say love. If it's like a friend that it would be kind of weird to say, I love you, then just say sincerely. But this is my sister, so I can definitely say, love, and of course I'll put my name. And there's my rough draft of my letter. Now, is this letter perfect? Absolutely not. I can maybe use some neater handwriting. I definitely have to use a better piece of paper. Um, I I got to double check and make sure I didn't spell any words wrong. And I also just want to read through it and see if I can use some better words. So we're going to revise this letter and update it. And we will do that next time. All right, so I finished the rough draft of my letter. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a great start. And we'll see where I can go from there. I want you guys to write a rough draft for your letter. Figure out who you're going to write to, write your rough draft, and then show it to me. And working together, we'll revise it, make it better, and get it ready to send out. Okay, I can't wait to see what you guys send me. And I look forward to seeing you again.